All right. Our fight of the evening comes from the 132-pound division. Saddam Ali, 18 years old, ranked in the top 10 in his weight class against Brian O'Connor, 17 years old, from Webster PAL. He's from the Bronx. In the gold corner, Saddam Ali, 18 years old, representing Havoc Boxing, a student at Karasi High School. He won both the Daily News and National Golden Gloves in 2006. His record, one decision, one by, one knockout. You should pay attention to the pace that Saddam Ali sets. Saddam likes to set a quick pace. He throws some real quick, fluid combinations. And Brian O'Connor just has to work his jab to offset the speed. Saddam Ali out of Havoc Boxing, a student at Canarsie High School. Has won both the Daily News and National Golden Gloves in 2006. This left hook by O'Connor. Early on, I see um, Saddam Ali here trying to be the boss, throwing power shots, just trying to take the lead early. When you fought a guy to try to do that, put power on you, what did you do to take that away from you? I just pretty much mixed it up. When guys came out trying to wing, you know, early on you want to establish yourself as well. But I was pretty, real elusive, so I would slip and counter punch, and my counter shots would always be hard. But I stayed in a boxing mode early. Ali missing with the left hook. Wild left hook. O'Connor steps off the ropes. Nice lunging lead left hook by O'Connor. And that shook up Ali. But although he was successful, you don't want to do that. You don't want to get into a power exchange with Saddam Ali. You see Ali missed a couple of wild power shots. You, want to, you don't want to see what happens if it lands. O'Connor changing the southpaw. Straight right hand landing by Ali. Good body punch. And that's what Saddam is known for. How hustling guys. When he gets close, he lets his hands go. On the outside, you can see he throw over here, right, left foot, or on the inside. Just like that, he lets his hands go. O'Connor seems like he's open for the left uppercut. He's just bending over just a little bit too, too much when he gets inside. Trying to get loose. Up jab landing for O'Connor. Now he relaxes. You know, don't Saddam is so flashy. I think. Round two, Saddam Ali, 18 in gold. Ryan O'Connor, 17 in blue. Second meeting between these two young men. And they met each other earlier this year with Ali winning a close decision. Gentlemen, how did you score the first round? Gave the first round to Ali, just thought his punches were all... Uh, that's supposed to talk about hard punches, but he landed punches with a little fourth round. I would agree. I thought he out-hustled him. He threw the better shots, the more cleaner shots. I gave it around to Saddam Ali. You think O'Connor has figured him out yet? Well, I think O'Connor's style is just to be a bit awkward, try to confuse guys. But Saddam has been fighting on the elite level, nationals. It's hard to confuse a guy who has been consistent on a national level. Nice up jab by O'Connor. He's slick. But it's one shot at a time, Gus. And there's Ali going to work. You see the difference? Saddam Ali throws four or five punches. O'Connor tries to slip and throw one wild shot. The time Ali throws an eight-punch combination, O'Connor's landed maybe two. Yeah. So it's just a matter of amateur style. Saddam is definitely the busier fighter. Nice body work on the inside as well. Saddam seems to have a pro style to it. Of course. A mix. Yeah. yeah. Digging left hook. Brings it back upstairs. You're right. O'Connor needs to step, step outside, use the jab, pick a style, either stay soft or quit going back and forth. They never like that. That is his style. Yeah. His style is awkward. That's what's made him successful. Into the second round. <laughs> round three, scheduled for four in the 132-pound Open Championship. Saddam Ali in gold, 18. Ryan O'Connor in blue, 17. Ali 
is the nationally ranked boxer in the top five in USA Boxing. O'Connor, awkward style. And he has caused Ali trouble in the past. Not today, though. Ali doing a lot of work, Tony, to the body, but is that counted in amateur boxing? No, not uh, really. That, and I would think a lot of these guys go to the body. You have to be careful. We've seen a couple of referees say that's a little bit low when it's right on the butt, on the, the belt line. But if you get a shot in there, a good clean shot, you may or may not get the point, but you will. The guy will feel it. Now right Ali there. really starting to work on O'Connor. He's loading up with those body shots, and O'Connor has no answers. Stop! Because what Saddam Ali has done the first two rounds. Every time he got close, he let his hands go through six, seven punch combination. And now when he's getting close, he's throwing hard shots. He's just trying to confuse Brian O'Connor. Beautiful straight right hand by Saddam Ali. O'Connor answers, though, with a short left hook. O'Connor's going to dangerously against the ropes and with his hands down. But this is what the Golden Gloves is about. If you look at the focus and determination of Saddam Ali, you mentioned in the past, O'Connor has given him problems. Tonight he came out trying to make a statement. He's trying to do it here in the Gilded Gloves. You have to make the adjustment sometimes between rounds, in the round. You can't do that. I guess that's if you get you can adjust in a round. That's an elite status for a fighter. Right. Exactly. That's what you used to do. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> 15 seconds remaining in the third round. Gus Johnson, Tony Page, and Brian Adams, three-time Golden Glove champion Stop. and national champion, Brian Adams. Back on the body. Up. Nam Ali, Brian O'Connor. 